So I started cutting hair because my brother, he started cutting hair and I didn't like the way he cut. So every time he would cut my hair, I would, we would always argue because I didn't like it. And he would just tell me, he's like, oh, get your $15 and go to a barbershop, have them cut it because I'm not going to deal with you anymore. So that's what I did. My dad gave me an allowance, you know, and I would just go once a month, get my blowout. And that's it, but then later on, my friends would start, they would be asking, like, oh, yo, you know, I'm going to cut hair, and I'd be like, oh, my brother is paying, like, five bucks to cut. And I would see how people would come to him, and you had the older people that would give him, like, ten bucks to cut. So I was like, what? My dad's allowance wasn't, wasn't a lot, because I would spend that in, in less than five minutes. <laughs> And he would always argue too. He's like, "What do you do with all the money I give you? Why can't you save up?" You know. And me, I'm a, I like shoes. And shoes are my thing. And yeah, when it comes to haircutting, that's that's my shoe money. I like cutting hair because at the end of the haircut, I like putting up that mirror in front of the. My customer's face and just the reaction be like, wow, that's, you're good, man. I like when they say that, good, you know, I'll call you up next time when I need a haircut. Like, I'm definitely calling you. Yeah, there's some kids that are crazy for the haircut. They hear every week. Every week, like when I tell you every week, if it's a Wednesday, they'll be here the next Wednesday to get their hair cut because they just like to look fresh all day, every day. See me, I, I cut hair, but I don't have anyone to cut my hair, so I really don't care about my hair, but I care about other people's hair. And then this, when it comes to style, some, uh, some people, it defines them, defines who they are. You got kids with the mohawk. The kids with the mullet, they're here in my town, we call it La Seta or El Siete. And usually the kids with the Siete are my town, they're the Columbia kids, you know, the soccer players. Mohawks too, soccer players or the crazy kids. And blowouts are usually for those um, tough kids, you know, like, oh, what's up, bro, you know, hip hop kids, rap kids, you know, a lot of people have the blowouts. You got the the one on top, skin on the side, just fade, which I like to do that. Heck. But it defines a lot of people, and it's just it's just done. If you ever need a haircut? Hit up Paige, bro. He's yeah. good. <laughs>
you get you get this thing when it comes to cutting hair that you look at people and you look at their hairline and you just stare them down up and down and they look at you like why are you looking at me like that <laughs> but you know it's I don't know. I guess it's me or maybe some other people have that career, but I do. I look at the eyebrows and I just look at ways that I can fix them, but it's a good thing and a bad thing when people look at you and be like, God, stop looking at me. But I don't really do it because I want to look at them. I'm just looking at their hair. Yeah.